Welcome back everybody. And so it begins 14 months of leaked details, Reddit posts from people who supposedly worked on the movie and love us all so much that they're willing to breach their non-disclosure agreements and get their asses sued to Kingdom Come and fan speculation theories which usually turn into arguments. Well at least that's how the anticipation was built up leading into The Last Jedi. But after The Force Awakens we had questions that needed to be answered. Who are Rey's parents? Who's Snoke? How powerful is Luke? Why is he on that island? Why does he want the Jedi Order to end? Who are the Knights of Ren? Who's this DJ character? Is he Boba Fett? Is he Ezra? And so on and so forth. What about after The Last Jedi then? Is Raylo going to happen? Will Finn find his courage once again? Is Luke a force ghost? How powerful will Broom Boy become? Yes, fans of Star Wars, both disgruntled and elated, Episode 9 has started filming and to celebrate the fact we get this nice out of focus photo of the cockpit to the Millennium Falcon, out of focus much like this trilogy has been so far. Production is officially underway on Star Wars Episode 9. Although J.J. Abrams only intended to direct a single Star Wars film, that being The Force Awakens in 2015, he was hired as the director of Star Wars 9 following the departure of Colin Trevorrow. He and Chris Terrio then rewrote the Star Wars 9 script, which resulted in the film's release date being pushed back to December 2019. Ever since The Last Jedi ended, Star Wars fans have been anxiously waiting to get any information on what comes next, for example Kathleen Kennedy being fired. Expectations were tempered due to Abrams' typical high levels of secrecy, but Lucasfilm has already confirmed the official cast for Episode 9. Now, Abrams has taken to social media to share behind the scenes image as filming begins. For his first tweet, Abrams confirmed the start of production on Star Wars 9. He did so by writing, Bittersweet starting this next chapter without Kerry, but thanks to an extraordinary cast and crew, we are ready to go. He also highlighted the individuals who made it possible for him to tell this next chapter, adding, Grateful for Ryan Johnson, I bet you are, and special thanks to George Lucas for creating this incredible world and beginning a story of which we are lucky to be a part. The behind the scenes photo can be seen below, it's the one I showed at the beginning, followed by Johnson's retort. Of Han Solo giving the good luck to you kid, wave, yeah he's going to need luck after your input. Lucasfilm previously confirmed Episode 9 filming would begin today as part of the cast announcement, but it's nice to see Abrams drop some of his secrecy to kick off production. He's also the one responsible for finding a way to bring back Carrie Fisher's Leia, according to her brother, and how he will manage to finish Leia's story is already one of the biggest questions surrounding the film. Arguably though, bringing her back isn't something Lucasfilm and Abrams would do unless they knew they had a great way to make it happen. When it comes to the actual image that Abrams shared, there's only so much information that can be pulled from it. The easiest observation to make is the return of John Boyega as Finn. The shot comes from the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon, which is the last place audiences saw Finn at. Chewbacca also appears to be behind Finn's right shoulder and one has to think that Rey is the person piloting the spaceship in this scene. We know Finn and Rey will be together again in Episode 9 after being largely separated for The Last Jedi, so this trio could once again be on their own adventure. It seems unlikely that Abrams will continue to share behind the scenes looks at Episode 9, so this could be the first and only image for a while. But now that production has begun, the usual amount of leaked set photos and videos could surface, thus shedding some additional light on the final installment in the Skywalker Saga. Are you guys pumped? No? Yes? The only way I see it working out is if everything Ryan Johnson did in The Last Jedi was a lie or a misdirect. Luke teleported to a resort island to recharge his batteries, Kylo lied to Rey about her parents, and Snoke was using an animatronic puppet to punk everybody. Unfortunately, I don't think that's the case. Colin Trevorrow was fired for complaining about the direction Ryan Johnson was taking it, 
and Kathleen Kennedy is still on board as far as I know. And you know what they do over there in Hollywoods when you complain? They double down. So there you have it, peoples. Will the hype train pick up steam once again or has it been permanently derailed? Leave your thoughts down below. As always, thanks for dropping by and for your continued support. Don't forget to like, share, sub and all of that good stuff. And until next time, see us.